Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video, and today's video is kind of a follow-up video to yesterday's episode. In yesterday's episode, we talked about, well, in my opinion, who I thought the best Bebe was currently in the game, but there were two Bebe's that really shine above the other two Bebe's, in my opinion, and that's Robo and Blood Elf Bebe, which was, again, a hot-button topic that I did state and figured would happen within the comments section, and a lot of people went with Robo Bebe being the stronger of the two. I personally chose Blood Elf Bebe as the one that I thought was the more superior. But then the second big thing that was mentioned was that there were multiple people that requested that there should have been some actual battle between the Bebe's, or as in the Bebe should have, there should have been, you know, gameplay showcasing Bebe versus Bebe. Well, I decided to create this wacky little deck, mostly of spawnable or swarm units, to where two people fight with only one type of baby on the field at the same time. So if Robo Baby is played, then Blood Elf Baby has to be played. So I recorded a couple matches with some help from two of my clanmates. And this is ultimately the result that I had. So the cards that I chose, again, have spawnable style units within both sci-fi and fantasy. So you can rotate between the two babies because you have both babies as options. There's Freeze Ray in there to kind of be able to help control you so that the babies can get charged up. I have Bounty Hunter Kyle in my deck to be able to you know, get the effect of the extra damage to maybe help Blood Elf Baby or Robo Baby just be that much stronger. You got Gizmo Ike, who of course will transform into copies of himself if charged up. You got two Randys, both have summoning units. Pigeon Gain, Rat Swarm, Underpants Gnomes, Chicken Coop. It's just a wacky deck. Some wacky battles took place between both these uh, things. Of course, the one thing that really sucks is when you're trying to showcase a specific card, you never seem to have it in frickin' rotation. Which was the struggle, especially in the first match, that I wasn't able to have Blood Elf Bebe quite in rotation like I would have wanted, or Robo Bebe, or vice versa. But once we ended up to get both those cards on at the same time, pure carnage was able to be done on both sides. You see a ridiculous amount of health from Blood Elf Bebe in one point, and you see a Robo Bebe go on a complete rampage. So, again... Both these matches, very entertaining, very interesting to watch. Maybe not the most amount of commentary on my part, but I was just too blown away just playing the match of just the ridiculousness that was going on on screen to the point where I was held almost speechless at times, probably throughout the, the commentary and gameplay itself. But the gameplay speaks for itself and is entertaining in its own right that maybe you just don't need me talking during it to actually truly just be in awe of all the ridiculousness and just there's so much chaos on screen at times with all of these different swarm units it's hard to really just keep up with what's really going on so that was also probably the reason for the lack of commentary but enjoy the gameplay here guys of these two matches all right guys we got match number one here against Nikki. Uh. We got, we got Randy. We got Randy. Got Hanky out here. Let's get some chicken coop. Oh, he went with Blood Elf Baby, so I'm gonna have to get this out here. Get this robot out here. I have not gotten my my Elf Baby to cycle yet. Really need Blood Elf Baby to cycle here. Finally got my Robo Baby here to cycle. So we'll see how we do. With this push. You got rats. You got Kyle still up here. The rats there. Oh, baby, we got bar number one. This fight, look at Robo Baby just picking them apart. He's gonna get hit with the rats here, though. But this is just carnage. That's what this is. Just an interesting showdown here. I'm kind of Bebe versus Bebe. Not really sure. You know which. Baby is kind of more the supreme version here, but we're gonna get our blood elf baby out here this time. And he's got Robo here. 
So we're gonna go Robo. First Blood Elf. Let me get my chicken coop out here. That Blood Elf baby staying alive. Let me get some rats in here to try to deal with Randy. So far, Robo just picking away at Blood Elf. But now we got Randy. We, he's got visitors and all this. This is just complete insanity right here in this midline. Just the amount of just troops and carnage and stuff that's going on. You pigeons to try to deal with these rats. Able to take all that out. Able to take that out. But look at Robo Baby just in the back just wailing away here. She just takes everything out so fast. Wow. <laughs> just carnage in this Bebe versus Bebe showdown. Alright guys, we got Hutzel here. In this Bebe vs. Bebe matchup uh, between Blood Elf and Robo. And of course, we don't have a Bebe to choose from. So he's going to go with Robo Bebe, so I have to use Blood Elf Bebe, which is fine because I finally got her in rotation here. But now we're going to watch Robo Bebe on steroids here. She could end up being a beast to try to deal against. See if Bounty Hunter Kyle can help us out. Make Blood Elf a little bit stronger. See, this is really turned into a nice push for us here with all these cocks. With these rats. With the tank. With a Blood Elf Bebe. So she's still alive. Let's start Gizmo here in the back. Let's get Hanky out here. We want Gizmo Ike on steroids. That's what we want. Let's see what we can do with that. Not too much. Amazingly, Randy able to take it out pretty well. But you see Blood Elf Baby just staying alive right now. Just killing these pigeons and underpants gnomes. Just so much survivability. We've got the cocks coming out. We've got Randy as well helping out. Now we've got Blood Elf Bebe for Hutzel coming into the thing. So let's get Robo out here. All these cocks. She's just not able to do enough damage to stop them. The big issue is the fact that we won't be able to kill her probably. We need to distract the visitors here for a second. Hoping Robo can take them out. We'll see how these pigeons do against her. I just feel like they're not going to do any damage. Like, she's just got insane... amount of survivability here. And now all these cocks. Is it just madness? Like, look at her health bar. Look at her health bar, guys. For Blood Elf Baby. It's insane, her health bar currently. Wow. That was complete insanity. Just the amount of health that she had. To be able to sustain, to be able to stay alive. I mean, both these cards are so strong, guys.
Wow. All right, guys. So again, let me know down below if there's any specific two types of combos that you would like to see or two cards to face off each other in this kind of battle royale between each other here on the channel. This was a really fun episode. I especially thank the two clanmates that were helping me out with making this content here today. Uh, you know, I just, I'm trying to bring different style of content here to the channel, showcasing some different stuff. This was something that was suggested by you guys in one of my previous videos. I do pay attention to the stuff that you guys put in the comments section. It helps me create content for you guys that you guys want to see. Because at the end of the day, if you guys aren't interested in watching it, then what's the point of me even making it? So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to also do stuff that I enjoy and the things that I think would be fun or in, in interesting for you guys to learn about, maybe within South Park Phone Destroyer or other kind of games and genres. But especially this episode was very, just kind of intriguing to me to see which one would actually come out on top. I really don't know if there was a definitive winner, in all honesty, because in the one match, Robo Bebe just landslide over Blood Elf Bebe, but then Blood Elf Bebe completely almost decimated in the other one. Uh, but I think overall, between the balancing and structure, I feel like Robo won in this kind of scenario i think the the only thing that made this kind of a fair fight in in all regards was the fact that both of these cards are common cards if they were different rarities i think this would be next to impossible so i don't know if you could compare say if blood elf baby was rare and robo baby was common to, that they'd be on the same even keel because especially in a friendly battle scenario you have to play off the card levels that it's restricted to and the new kid levels so this was kind of interesting. Let me know what you guys think, if you thought this was the best way to display it or not. Or again, if there's any other types of these kind of battles you'd like to see in the future. But until next time, guys, my name is Drewzy. 